Hello and welcome to It Means Everything, the series where we go back to first clubs of current England players. I'm Catherine Spencer, former England captain, and we're here at Aylesford Rugby Club today. A former club of mine, post-England retirement, but the club where Rosie Gallagher first started her rugby career. Rosie's journey started here and amazingly played her first full game of rugby in a Kent County jersey. Rosie's rise into the Red Roses starting lineup didn't have the best start after her first cap in 2019. Rosie didn't don the shirt again for three years after illness and a broken leg. Gallagher's gonna fire through! Rosie Gallagher. Today we're back at the very club that introduced Rosie to the game. This is It Means Everything. I first started my rugby journey at Elsford Rugby Club. My dad and my brothers played there um, when they were younger and for me I started when I was 16 at a touch tournament and I think for me it was the first place where I really, really felt, felt myself. I feel really fortunate that I'm now able to say that um, I am a Red Rose and that I have managed to, to make it to professional rugby but I wouldn't have been anywhere without the help of Elsford uh, really getting me um, into rugby when I, when I first started. Um, I know how much rugby means to me and to my family so I can only imagine what it means to you and I'm so happy that the Elsford section is thriving both in the girls and the women so good luck for everything good luck for the rest of the season and I'm sure I'll be down soon. She was a very good player straight from the from the get-go she walked in with a lot of confidence she started playing in the centres big ball carrier very vocal always had a lot of confidence even from the, the get-go. Sort of assets for rugby were clear to see you know her strength her pace and her power you know even at a young age that was obvious um, and obviously that's been taken on and you know, she's doing wondrous things now. It is awesome to see someone still representing the badge of Aylesford now, um, still representing this village club at, you know, at an elite level. Absolutely incredible, especially to see someone that you've played with go up the ranks. And I think for our younger players here, it just shows that there is a pathway there for you if you, if you want it. And there's, there is space for you to play professionally these days and make a career out of that, which is just absolutely incredible. And I, I think from a whole, it's just amazing for a squad like us to have someone to look up to like that. And um, whether you're sort of, you've been playing for a really long time or, you've, or you're quite new to, new to rugby, um, it's just incredible to see that. I know her father very well because he played in the first team uh, here, uh, cracking fly half uh, when he was here. Uh, I, I saw Rosie a few times as she developed through our minis and yeah, I mean she's a very talented, very, very, very nice young lady. We're over the moon and actually she's a great role ro model for the girls and would have been here today had she not been playing for England. So yeah, we're, we're, we're proud of her. I think hopefully she's proud of her roots. We had a very pro young, progressive, professional committee that were very good at things like planning and uh, finance, etc. So we were very able to put together a business plan uh, that said we want to continue non-competing sports for rugby. So part of that was the netball facility, which you've seen next door, that's non-competing. We had American football here, non-competing, but the primary uh, development was in youth rugby, uh, minis rugby and in ladies rugby. And when we built the clubhouse, we built ladies changing rooms for that very reason. First came to Ellsford, uh, a leaflet came through my door saying, Ellsford ladies rugby. I was so excited, I come from a London club, so thinking, yeah, I got, I, you know, just moved in, great, came down. The only woman, only men, they just won the lottery, got a new clubhouse, everything, but I was the only woman. But I have to say, with the support of the blokes, and I kept going and training, just summer training with the men, started approaching some of the ladies from the mini rugby. They were fantastic. All game for a laugh. Any club can do it if we can, and we're a small, a small club. Any club. It's enthusiasm. I came down here to watch my little, uh, my son at the time, who was four, play minis, and I was approached by a coach who said, "Do you want to play rugby?" Why not, I thought, let's give it a go. Have no idea how to play rugby, but I thought, what a great opportunity to keep fit. There was only a few of us, so we thought, this is gonna take a lot of work to get a team together. We turned out a few games. We had a few friendlies and we built the team from there. I think having seen my brother and the team environment, managing to do that for myself and play female rugby was amazing. We developed uh, through the leagues for a, a number of seasons and then uh, we got a, a New Zealand coach who decided he was going to take them under his wing 
uh, and we started to climb the leagues. Uh, we attracted better players as a result of that. Catherine Spencer Spence turned up in 2012 uh, after finishing her career with England and that galvanised uh, the focus of what the ladies were about. As an amateur club, it was very difficult eventually to finance um, the ladies because they became, uh, they were winners. So they travelled all over the country. And for a small village rugby club, it was quite difficult to finance it. When the RFU announced their new ladies rugby, it became obvious to us that we couldn't support that. We were the last holders of the, the league and cup as Aylesford Bulls. Uh, before it became or before it moved to its new structure. The ladies rugby as a result of passing the side to, to Harlequins or the side moving to Harlequins to compete in that new league uh, meant ladies rugby here died a death. Uh, unfortunately we didn't have a follow-up plan for that but in 2019 uh, we restarted again. I mean the inspiration um, for restarting the team was mainly because it was very apparent that we needed a we needed a women's side here. Um, there was multiple um, really talented players in the youth and um, junior set up and they had nowhere to go ultimately um, and I know f from being sort of a mini and a junior here myself you always look up to that um, that sort of senior team and you always think well that's that's where I want to be one day um, or even higher and um, we didn't have that here for I think about four years is everybody ready to play for their team today and all of those people that set this platform for us? Yes! Are we all ready to get over that line and finish this season on a high? Yes! Are we all proud to be wearing this shirt today? Yes! Let's go and do it then. One, two, three, balls! There's a, a huge legacy here. Um, the legacy really started with our friend Natalie. Uh, we wear her, her initials on our sleeve. Um, she was uh, our captain, she was a great scrum half and a flanker. She sad sadly lost her battle to cancer when she was 27 in 2006, 2007. And ever since she's inspired everything we do, everything we do here, you know, we carry her in our hearts and that's particularly important to us. We, st we started off as a, 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 as a pub side, actually. We were playing on a Sunday because it's the only place you could get a drink. Played on council pitches until we found this land here uh, in 1993. Uh, and we released this with uh, a lot of help from the parish council who also wanted it for sports facility and since that time we've been developing it as a rugby club. We do recognise that we breed something very special here at Aylesford. You know, we love the legacy of this club and we love the fact that, you know, you go through an England squad, you go through a Scotland squad and you just see it peppered with girls that have originated from Aylesford and we're so, so proud of that. It is absolutely a family away here for each other. Uh, through thick and thin, we all have ups and downs in our lives, but we all pull together as a team and a club. I play with my two daughters, my niece, I've played with my daughter-in-law. So it's a great family club and it's a great place. We all know what we do this for. We don't do this to win. We do this because we want to play with each other every week. Teaching the younger girls that actually these are the games we learn from. Like today, we had the biggest smiles on our faces and we've lost 33-0 and that, it is what grassroots rugby is about and and what we've been through this year is just we've, it's just been testament to how hard how hard we've worked on the culture at this club and I think to be honest that always should come first and foremost for every team especially a women's team girls honestly I, I could not be more proud and every week next season I will come out and do the same job for you all and I hope you're all here too red and blue through and through falls on three one two three balls!